State lawmakers are cracking down on striking teachers with legislation that may take away their ability to teach. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russo spoke with the lawmaker who introduced this new bill. What we saw yesterday was a historic protest. So many teachers called in sick so they could protest during President Obama's visit, asking for federal help for Detroit public schools, that DPS had to close 88 schools. Now some lawmakers are reacting. A group of Senate Republicans introduced a legislation they say will make it easier to punish teachers who strike or use sick outs to close schools. We want to make sure that uh, the kids have a safe environment to go and learn in and we're not doing um, them any service by not opening those schools. Senator Phil Pavlov from St. Clair Township is one of the lawmakers who introduced it. The legislation would fine the teachers union whether they call for the strike or not. The Detroit Federation of Teachers after all did not call for these sick outs organized online by teachers and activists. Plus teachers who strike would face fines of up to $5,000 and the loss of their teaching certificate. One parent who has come to the Detroit public schools administrative offices to complain that his son is in classes without certified teachers, even basic classes like English, says what lawmakers don't understand is if they take away the certification of teachers who are striking, fighting for change, there are no certified teachers lined up to replace them. They don't have a clue. While some parents disapprove of the sick outs, many don't. Their question, would the senators punishing teachers focus instead on school and learning conditions if their kids went to DPS? Uh, you would see him on the news every day. I mean, he, he would use whatever authority and power that he has um, as a senator to fix it. Open to clarify what strikes look like so that kids don't get caught in this predicament and parents have some predictability in terms of taking care of their kids during the day. It is legislation that district leaders appreciate. In Detroit, Council 7 Action News.